Good morning. It's Tuesday, February 21st, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, With Ears Like That, and our scripture is Psalm 32. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Do not be like a senseless horse or mule that needs a bit and bridle to keep it under control. God made us different from the rest of sentient beings, fish, animal, and plants. God gave humans consciousness, awareness of meaning, and the importance of intrapersonal connection. More than merely an affiliation with our own species, God gave us an innate sense of the purpose and worth of each other's existence, as well as the sacredness of all creation. And on top of that gift, God placed a requirement that we use all that awareness better than a stubborn mule. We humans are a particularly strange lot, especially in our lack of intelligent choices. One would imagine humans possessing sensory understanding, or if you wish, ears like a mule, humanity might pay better attention to our Creator's instructions. That is so strange, considering God has given us a promise, as the psalmist clearly stated, of guidance to the pathway of a better life. And it has been so from the opening gun. Adam and Eve were told not to dine on one particular tree. That lasted about a half second. Cain and Abel were told what to bring for a worship offering. Cain completely ignored God's instructions. He got angry with jealousy and killed his brother for spite. If you've ever had the responsibility of a parent to make important choices for your child, you know firsthand what that child will do when you say clearly, authoritatively, and lovingly, Child, don't go near that road. In the next heartbeat, he or she will be dancing on the pavement. We have ears to listen and generally turn them to a deaf side. Occasionally, however, there is a revival of God's Spirit, like the one currently in progress at Asbury University. By many social media accounts and news outlets, it isn't a wild jumping over the pews, shouting goofiness. Rather, it's calm sitting in his presence, praying for each other, boldly trusting that waiting before God for his next word is more important than classes, jobs, spreadsheets, schedules, or anything else in which we dabble away our time. It is joy without giddy foolishness. It's healing of the Spirit, building of the Spirit, and connection with God's family. It is, frankly, koinonia, the common Greek word used in the New Testament to describe how the real church acts when they truly listen to God's voice. It's the combined atmosphere of community, communion, sharing, and deeply held intimacy. This is the spiritual garden where God's Holy Spirit produces excellent fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. For you today, the spiritual fruit of revival begins in the church when God's people who have surrendered lordship to Jesus Christ, promising to walk in the Spirit, nail their sinful desires to the cross and invite the transforming power Jesus offers to change their deaf ears to deeply listening ears. And with ears like that, there's no telling what good Christ will produce in your life. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.